we're uh, we're excited. We're ready. Here we are at the start of Fashion Week. It's uh, the, the energy's here. The, the love is in the air. How do you guys feel about once again this season kicking off uh, Fashion Week again? It's always exciting, but you know, there's always like a peaceful calm right now. So that's that's my favorite part. <laughs> is like going away from all the chaos. So tell us about the uh, the collection this year. Um, the collection was inspired by like the 1920s modernist artist movement, so like Ansel Adams, George O'Keefe, Paul Strand, um, in Taos. So it's kind of a real, it was re uh, really progressive back then, so we kind of wanted to take that, you know, southwestern feeling and make it progressive for our time. Um, so you'll see a lot of like southwestern influence. Christopher, how do you feel about the uh, the look this this season? Um, I like it. I, uh, I I like anything about the Southwest. Um, I think the but sometimes you know people think about the Southwest as a little bit of a throwback. You know, it's a little, it's a little bit cowboy um, and not as uh, progressive. So I think that anytime um, you can offer it sort of a a, a slightly modern feel, um, I'm always happy. Anything that can uh, build appreciation for that part of the the world is nice. And I think people typically don't don't think of the Southwest as being sophisticated. So to make that kind of architectural modern feeling to um, that kind of Southwestern feeling is, I, I, we feel is really interesting. Yeah. And, and one last question about the uh, the hair and makeup. That's really what I love talking about. Tell us about the inspiration for what you want with the hair and makeup. So the hair was really, you know, if you go back to that movement that happened in Taos, you know, the kind of uh, person who organized that was Mabel Dodge Luhan, and she was actually from New York City, and she had this very severe, sharp bob. And I thought that was so cool for like 1920s, 30s, and um, all their photography was really minimalistic. Um, so, you know, that was like the perfect, perfect idea is these sharp bob wigs that com complemented the collection um, as well as brought it to that minimalistic architectural feeling. Yeah, I've been seeing some of the models walk around, I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool, it's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, they all like wearing the wigs too, because everybody looks great in a bob. Well, listen guys, uh, congratulations, thank good you. luck with this uh, this season, thank and you. happy Fashion Week, okay, all right? Thank you, thank you, nice seeing you. Right. Um, we're doing synthetic wigs, all cut in classic bobs um, with bangs. Um, it's really a throwback to kind of the uh, kind of gothic party girl of the 80s, um, a little bit of a you know, a wink at Vidal Sassoon, um, but we're trying to push it forward. Um, in doing that, we're using three different colors, um, red, black, and gray. So it's, it's, you know, it's really unique to have like a young woman actually wearing gray hair. Um, so yeah, and then um, just basic square box bob cut on a synthetic wig, um, but how we made it go forward is by doing it in very large sections, so it has a choppier feel to it. You know, it's kind of, it, it's, it's stacked almost. Um, and then just using Rene Furtero's dry shampoo and, and modeling paste to really accentuate that staticky texture. And then you have the look. You know, it's definitely, you know, a wink at gothic. It's a, it's a, it's a wink at, you know, you know, 80s party girl and, you know, some Vidal Sassoon in there as well. It's really interesting because uh, Lynn had designed this makeup which is basically inspired by Urban Cowboy, but it still has this kind of black and white silent film, film feeling where uh, the models have this really beautiful smoky eye and the same tone on the lip, which it's a sort of smoky brown tone. It's chocolatey, it's rich, really elegant and velvety.